So we look at terms associated with waves. So we start by listing them down. We'll discuss the following terms. Number one, amplitude. Amplitude is denoted by capital letter A. Number two, we look at frequency. Frequency is denoted by a small letter F. So for amplitude, the capital letter A, frequency, a small letter F. Number three, periodic time, denoted by a capital letter T. And finally, on terms, we are going to look at wavelength. Wavelength is denoted by Anglic letter lambda. This is how we write it, that way. Lambda. It's a Greek letter. So your wavelength is denoted by a Greek letter, which we are calling lambda. So those are the terms that we want to discuss with reference to the wave that is here. So we have this wave, we want to discuss these terms. So we'll start with the first term, which we are talking of as the amplitude. So what is amplitude? When we talk of amplitude, it refers to the maximum displacement from the mean position. It is the maximum displacement. It refers to the maximum displacement. Maximum displacement from the mean position on either side. So like in our wave here, this is our mean position. If we have this, this is our mean position, mean position. Now, our maximum displacement will simply mean the highest point on either side, either here or here. So for this, let's say our displacement was in meters, and here we have this one as 0 0.1, and here we have negative 0 0.1. So it means that our displacement from the mean position is 0 0.1, and that is the amplitude. So from our sketch here, we can say that amplitude will be equal to 0 0.1 meters. I would like also you note that the SI unit of amplitude is meters. The SI unit is meter. Being a displacement, and we know that the SI unit for displacement is meter, the SI unit of amplitude will be meters. So that is the SI unit of amplitude, and we are saying that it is simply the distance from the mean position. So if you are given a wave like this one, and you are told what is the amplitude, you simply come and check the highest point. So you look at the crest or even the trough, and you assume this negative now when you are giving the amplitude because it is now the distance from the mean position. So we are going to have 0 0.1 meters. So if it were in centimeters, we need to convert it into meters so that we can give in its SI unit. Let's move on to our second term, which is frequency. How frequent? Now, in English, how frequent? Now, when we talk of frequency, it refers to the number of complete oscillations in one second. It is the number of complete oscillations in one second. We now know what is an oscillation. So we think that if we have a transverse wave and it moves from this point down up to the same same position then that is a complete oscillation so the number of those complete oscillations in one second we refer to it as frequency and the si unit is hertz the SI unit is hertz, which we write as this, 
the SI unit is hertz. So if we come to our wave here, and we want to know what is the frequency of this wave, and we are saying that frequency is the number of complete oscillations in one second. So in this wave, we have a sec one second here. So the number of complete oscillations in one second. So we want to see what is the frequency here. Because we can see here we are having how many oscillations are these before one second. This is half of an oscillation. It is a half. And therefore, we'll say that the frequency is a half. Because in one second, we have half of the oscillation and we are saying frequency is the number of complete oscillations in one second so in our question here the frequency is equal to a half which is 0 0.5 hertz that is the frequency the number of complete oscillations in our case the number of oscillations here are a half and therefore the frequency is a half or we can approach it this way. How many oscillations do we have in total? One, two, two and a half. So we can come and say that we have 2.5 oscillations and they are covered in how many seconds? In five seconds. So we ask ourselves, what about in one second? How many oscillations are these? So we'll just come and cross multiply. So we have 2.5 times 1 divided by 5. 2.5 times 1 divided by 5. This will be the same as 25 divided by 50, which is 0 0.5 hertz. It is the same as this. So that is what we refer to as frequency. Let's move on and look at periodic time. Periodic time, we are still referring to our wave here. Now, when we talk of periodic time, it is not the time taken to complete one oscillation. Time taken to complete one oscillation. It is the time taken to complete one oscillation. And the SI unit is seconds. Being time, the SI unit for time is seconds, and therefore the SI unit for periodic time is seconds. So we are saying periodic time is the time taken to complete one oscillation. Like for example, if we come back to our question here, to complete one oscillation, how many seconds are there? So we have one oscillation from here, if we start from here, this zeros, zero sorry here we have zero so we have from here our complete oscillation is up to here so how many seconds are there we have two seconds we can even start from here if we want the oscillation we can start from here for a complete oscillation so we have it to here four minus two which is two so we can say that our periodic time here is two seconds the periodic time is two seconds. It is the time taken to complete one oscillation. Time for one oscillation is what we are calling the periodic time.